Alrighty, and hi everybody. Welcome back to another fig. Wing. Wing. Boink. 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 Bink. Wing. Shablam. Review. Oh my gosh, you guys. Hope you like the effort that I put into this intro. Because I have them all. These are all the ones that they've made and I really don't see them doing anymore because they've kind of come to a halt with these last two girls. Today, we are gonna be unboxing the lovely Applejack and Rainbow Dash. I had Applejack for a bit and I was waiting for Rainbow Dash to come out and here she is. <laughs> come out, yay. But I'm really excited. I've, I mean, all the way from the very first one, all the way to their most recent with Celestia, I've been watching this particular series grow, but I'm really excited. I have them all, they're all here. I have them out of the box now, but we will still see the full unboxing. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just get into that. And I hope you enjoy. So to start us off, we have the lovely uh, Applejack. We're gonna look at the outside of her box. It's similar to how all the previous ones in the limited edition series are where they have these sparkly holographic effect, their cutie mark symbol design on the side, cute bright box colors that kind of go along with the ponies colors, pictures, the official art sketch on the side which is always super duper cute, gotta love it, and then the top and the bottom. And since we're looking at the boxes, we'll go ahead and take a look at Rainbow Dash. So again, similar thing where she's got the cutie mark window, holographic. Hers is really rainbowy, um, and she's actually had some special stuff done for her other previous boxes. Um, but this one's pretty standard compared to the other ones in this specific limited edition series. And again, love the super cute art on the side. And we have the top and the bottom. Now let's open them up. Now this is going to be on both of them, so I won't show it for both of them, but uh, all of the My Little Pony boxes have had these cute little frills on there. Now when we look at the inside of Applejack's box, they have, again, keeping with like the holographic coloring, these really bright and shiny insides. Look at that, look how crazy that looks. Now when we look at Rainbow Dash, similar thing, of course, what a surprise, she's got blue. Hers is really crazy looking, look at that, that's kinda cool actually. Me a little flower for you, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so then the inside of her actual shell packaging, etc. Pretty basic, there's just a front and a back, no loose parts or pieces to worry about. And keeping the tradition alive with how they've been with these, she is in just a big giant bag secured around her and the pony has her own little bag as well. And then continuing back over to Rainbow Dash with her clamshell, I mean front, back, it's very similar, nothing different. And Daniel has joined us there and said hello. But we have Rainbow Dash in her own custom baggy and little pony rainbow dash in her little bag all right Daniel is begging for his doubloon so we're doing it early here you go buddy hmm that's good oh we got two bumps all right Daniel demanded that he get his payment now and see what our fortune for today is you look you got your payment but a bum 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 but a bum 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 oh, actually something came out today and it's two whole beads just what everybody wished for because daniel told me that in life sometimes you get two good beads two good kitties two good anya faces or two good anime girl figures Anyways, now that we got our wise words of wisdom from Cathania, let's get a good look at these girls. All right, but there is Miss Applejack, fully outside of the box in her full glory, just giving you a nice 360 here. Now, I mean, of course, she looks fantastic. What a surprise. These have all looked really great. 
I will say, other than just like her bright yellow sparkly hair, she does look the most similar to the original. But before we do take a closer look at her, we are going to also get a nice spin around of Miss Rainbow Dash here. And Rainbow Dash as well, of course, looks fantastic. She, of course, is a much more noticeable difference where she has her bright blue blueberry skin. And I mean, honestly, her hair, I think, is even more vibrant than it was before. Rainbow Dash's figure was my favorite of the main six before, and I'm still kind of feeling that way with hers because these the rainbow colors just really service these figures well. And I mean, she still looks great. Fantastic pose as before, because it's, it's the same thing. And the colors just, they are really popping a lot more than the other ones. So very excited to take a close look at both of these girls. All right, so as usual, we are gonna start with her lovely face. And I think, of course, I mean, just like all the other Kotobukiya scales, her face looks fantastic. She has these lovely green eyes, her nice orange Cheeto skin. It's a little bit much, I'm not gonna lie. Hers, again, just looks, cause it's close-ish to a real color. It almost looks like something is wrong with her. She as well does have, though, her little white freckles on her face which just looks super cute and nice. She also has blonde uh, eyebrows. They're not just flat sticks. They stand out a lot more, I think, on this skin because they still use the same decal print as they did on the original Applejack. So you can see, other than just the skin color changes, everything is the exact same. I think they did go a little bit darker on the eyelashes on the new figure. Um, where the other one had kind of more like a natural brown. And one thing I'm noticing as well, the original figure did have just a little bit of blushing added to the cheeks, where the new one, if it does have any, is severely less noticeable. But you can see, I mean, again, kind of with those color differences, most of it is the same with the actual outfit. It's mostly the skin and the hair that is different. All the way down to the bottom, even the boots are the same here. Now, obviously, her hair is the <laughs> lovely shade of yellow, um, but it's translucent, clear. There's the sparkles in it. It still doesn't look bad. Hers is probably my least favorite of the bunch just because of the color and because I do think her scalp is showing the most underneath. Yeah, like when you look at it from this angle, you can definitely see the base of her head underneath all the yellow hair, so I don't like that. It is nice that her hat does cover at least a decent portion of it, where some of the other girls, it was like, it was all out, you could just see it. Her skirt, again, and the, it's all the same as it was on the last figure, so nothing different or new. It still is super cute, though. There's her boots, her knees. If you're a knee guy, there you go. <laughs> the pony, wow. I don't really like the sculpt on the Applejack one. Something about it is a little bit off. Certain angles are kind of cute, but I think her face is one of the ones that's a little bit over detailed, but she's still cute. They did uh, saturate her a little bit more as well. So if you put the two side by side, you can see, I mean, obviously the hair, very noticeable, but the actual skin color is a deeper orange for the new figure versus the old one. But the new ponies do tend to have a bit more shading because they are a higher contrast. So you'll see a lot more of like the yellow tones here for the highlighting and some of the darker tones inside of the like leg crevices and bends, etc., etc. Again, the yellow really doesn't do a good job of hiding these seams in the back. Kind of unfortunate, but what are you gonna do? And the one last thing to mention as to the bottom, the bases. They are the exact same print, just one is see-through with the sparkles and one is not. That's Applejack. These limited ones are kind of quick to go through because I've already seen them once. It's the same thing, so. Now moving along to Rainbow Dash, who I still really love the design for. The blue is deep, bright, and hard to miss um, with how different she looks. I mean, she's smurfing it out over here with how blue she is. But I like how different she looks because it's kind of more like, again, magical versus 
how we've seen with some of the girls where it just looks like they're really pale or they've got jaundice or who knows what. Her hair having the rainbow sparkles and it just adds a little bit of extra bump that I just really like. The um, actual seams on the back of her head because she has all these different strands and colors, I think are doing a pretty good job of actually staying disguised. Not as bad as we've seen with some of the other ones. So I actually don't mind her sparkly hair that much. We do the side by side between the two now. First off, her hair actual styling is a bit different. She's got more curls in the original than she does in the limited edition. You can see that blue strand is a different shape. And probably because of the type of plastic, it melds and molds a little bit different because you can still see the shape here on this one, but it's fallen down quite a bit. So it's got a little bit less of the dynamic jump and energy that she had before. Same with the back strands of hair. It's a little bit less noticeable because it's more dense, but you can see that her original one does look a little bit fluffier than her, her new one. Now they did change some things for the makeup on here, which makes sense. The skin color is quite a bit different. The While the eye print looks the exact same, the actual color of the lip on the new figure does look like a different color. Now I could just be getting color theoried right now. It may just be a trick because of the blue with the kind of nude lip color that she had before and it probably just looks deeper because it's next to this bright blue. I do know that there is some actual blushing on the original figure and there is not on the new one. It is, the new one's still shaded with like some darker blues and like some of the other bends and folds but not nearly as much. I think they went a little bit lighter because of how crazy shading could look especially with these crazy wild skin colors that they have so. Now, what I like with my blue one here is her lip mold looks like it did a little bit better than the first time around. I think they went too sharp on the lip shape, especially on the upper lip for her. For the new one, it kind of took away those like actual just triangle points. You can still see them there. They're not gone. It, it's not super noticeable. So, but everything else, again, the outfits are the same. Shoes are the same, nothing was changed here. Some things with the, same thing with the jacket on the back. Since we're already doing the comparisons too, I mean, you can see the difference in the ponies. The same as what we've been seeing. They have the different colored hair. Now what's interesting is that on the Applejack, the original one was shaded a little bit less and the new one was shaded more. It's, there's a lot more shading that's noticeable on the original than the old one. Um, and honestly, I'm, I could go either way on, one of, on either of these. They don't look that different. It's mostly the hair. Even the color of the actual fur on the pony doesn't look that different. In fact, I like the limited edition one a little bit more because the original one, the shading was really heavy where it was purple. Look how purple the inside of her arm is. Like it's it's just straight purple. For the new one, I think they did take a little bit more time. It's still like some spots are like, oop, that's purple. But it's not quite as egregious. Now the actual skin on the Rainbow Dash, they did go a little bit heavy on her skin. Like the dark blue on the inside of her palm is, it's very dark uh, and maybe they just went a bit heavy with the airbrushing they can do that sometimes this is a trend with Kotobukiya it's not the first time I've seen it so the rest doesn't look bad though that was the only part that I noticed I mean if you look at this palm it's not nearly big of a difference in the color but otherwise the shading on her herself is is pretty nice it's just the one hand that I don't particularly like uh, well okay the knee gets a little bit dark in in one spot Kotobukiya can have intense shading sometimes good sometimes bad so and then last, we have the difference in the two bases. Same decals, of course, just the glitter versus the normal. All right, well, we are at the end of the video, you guys. I, of course, got all the girls back out again to look at one last time, unless, if, I mean, I guess if they make more, I doubt I'm gonna bring out all of them, though. This felt like the proper end for this little series I've been doing. 
I, it's been a long time, time coming. I'm, I am sad that it's ending, uh, because I mean, I really loved collecting these. I love the design of these girls and these figures, how bright and popping they are. It, it's sad. I, I, I was hoping they would make more. Um, I know I've been supporting the line because I, I, there were still other characters I'd love to see like Discord or Trixie or there's so many other interesting characters that I really was hoping that they would do and continue. Come on, do Discord at least. You know how much money y'all make just putting Discord out. People love them. If you liked this video, I have almost all the girls on my YouTube channel in a nice little playlist. There is a specific My Little Pony playlist. I have a bunch of other figure reviews on this channel as well for just the other things that I collect. I like to share and unbox them with everybody so I'd be happy to see you again. And if you want to see them just in picture form, I have my Instagram at Desunasis. That is specifically for figures and anime merch and other things. I post pictures after I post these videos. There's also all these other lovely places you can find me. There's a full version on Patreon. And my favorite thing is when we get lots of kitty content. Nathaniel was, unfortunately for me, around longer than he should have been because he just didn't want to go away. He's here right now, just sitting on my lap. We also have a Discord now. Whoa! discord where we share pictures and things we chill we have fun and we talk we're like you know be one of the girly pop girls you can join in my discord <laughs> you would be girly pop join my discord you know the first youtube video was the twilight which was oh my gosh i don't even know how old that is now freaking from 2019 <laughs> so I've enjoyed sharing it with everybody, so I'm glad if you've been here, and I'm glad if you've watched them, and I, I hope you've enjoyed it. I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's a big thing. This is a big video for me. This is, oh, <laughs> these are some of the biggest videos on my channel to date, too, so it's just a huge, it's a huge bit for me. I don't know what else to say. I hope that if they do more, I'll see you then. But otherwise, I, in the meantime, hope you had a great last week. And I hope you have a great next week. And, you know, I'll see you guys later. Bye! You just wanted to be by all the girls. You just wanted to be by all the girls, Daniel. <laughs>